Jim, please start with your opening statement. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate y'all putting this on. Uh, I'm not really a uh, politician. I've never really considered doing that. But I have lived in this area for 50 years. Uh, moved here in 1962. My uh, family uh, was here, and, and of course they're gone now. But I raised my, my family, and I have my best friend and my, my wife of 34 years is over there. Raise your hand. <laughs> so we. Uh, we decided that there was a good reason to run for office. We're at a, a time in the, this county where we need business. We need a business person uh, in county commission. Uh, Y'all can check my background. I own a business, uh, Luke and Associates. Uh, it's a very uh, large corporation now. Uh, we provide health care for the military worldwide, U.S. military. And, uh, the reason our company was successful, and this is what I will bring to you as a county commissioner, is efficiencies, analytical ability to look at the, where the money goes from the bottom up and make, make changes based on what happens with the money. I'm very concerned that we are not having total fiscal responsibility over our tax money, uh, the assessments, uh, and the rollover of how we run things from the standpoint of a budget. So, I really believe that it's time for some new blood in that understands, uh, understands business, understands the principles that go along with that, but also how to bring in efficiencies and operate physically uh, the way it should be done. So I really appreciate y'all inviting us here. Um, it's, for me, it's a total new experience, and I'm looking forward to see how it goes. So thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Space Coast Patriots for having us all here this evening. I'm probably going to hear that a couple more times, but I really mean it. Um, I also want to thank Joyce. She's been so kind and made things so easy to, uh, to get here tonight. Uh, I'd be remiss not to mention, first of all, my hero, the person I look up to, and uh, someone who I think is, when you think of the word servant, she's a third generation school teacher. And I'm sorry if I get emotional. We're still in love. We're still dating. We've only been married 34 years. <laughs> My wife, Karen, would you stand up? She's a school teacher, and, and we've been together 34 years. And, and what I love about, about her is she's a servant. And she's taught me how to serve and what service means. Uh, that's really why I'm here tonight is because... Uh, I want to serve. I've, everything I've done in my life, entertainment world, business world, i got one minute, so I'm going to make it quick. Everything I've done in my life uh, through the years has been based on a, from a service position, even when I was in business for myself. And I'll tell you a little more about that later. But uh, I just wanted to, to mention to you that, that, that uh, about my wife, because she's a great lady, and we're, we're in love. So there you go. Uh, you get to hear more about me later. But uh, um, I've spent most of my most of my adult life either working for, steering, um, business, um, and uh, and owning my own business. I don't know anything but small business and manufacturing. I think that's what's going to bring our county back and give us stability. I got 15 seconds, and I'm not going to use them. Thanks for having me here tonight. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Ron. Hi, my name's Ron Taylor, um, uh, as you know, a candidate for District 2, and thank you for hosting this, giving me the opportunity to speak. We're very fortunate to live where we live here in District 2 in Merritt Islands. It, it's a, I've been all over the world, and this is one of the most incredible places you know, to live. The next four years, six years, eight years are critical for us, because with uh, we've got the Space Center, we've got the... Uh, port, the beaches, uh, Patrick Air Force Base. We have all these uh, uh, incredible centers of economic vibrancy that has permeated through the entire county. And also with opportunity like that comes challenges. Because how are we going to be able to balance the economic opportunity that we have with the lifestyle that we have? We already know what's going on with the Indian River Lagoon. We already know uh, some of the plans for the port. 
that they're going to be building a, a, a projecting to build a train, you know, from the airport across North Merritt Island, uh, the Indian River over to the, the port. And there's also we're going to have a train system, you know, going through, uh, you know, here with no stop. That every 10 minutes, when it's fully functional, we go ding, 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 and dividing us up, and dividing us up. So it's very challenging for us how we're going to balance economic opportunity and be able to keep our lifestyle that we have. I want to be very clear. I'm for the small business and for the homeowner. When I'm elected county commissioner, that's going to be the principle that I'm going to make decisions on. And uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity. And you can find out more about me by going to my website, pokebrontaylor.com. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Michael Hartman, and on behalf of my lovely wife, Mary, who's sitting in the second row there, we'd like to invite, uh, thank you for coming to our neighborhood tonight. Uh, Mary and I live right across the street in Dinah Shores. We've been there for 17 years. Uh, we've been boaters for the whole time, so the lagoon is very, very important to us. But the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about tonight is the budget, and I'm glad that we're focusing on that, because really... The two biggest things that we can do as county commissioners is try to get a handle on the budget, cut your property taxes, and cut government regulation. And that's how we get jobs. Okay? Our budget has grown tremendously in the last 12 years. It's gone on a weight increase that is unbelievable. We need to cut the fat out. Can we do it? I believe so. As chair of the Housing Authority for the last four and a half years, we put the Housing Authority on an austerity budget. We reduced the number of employees from 83 to 49 and actually increased the amount of services we were giving to the public. That can be done in our county if we go department by department and look through the budget, we can do that. I'm a CPA, I understand budgets. So there's no problem there. And if you elect me, my goal is to cut your tax rate by 20% in the next four years. Great. Thank you.